My name is Cody Carlson. I'm 31 years old, a husband, a dad, someone who tries to do the right thing when he can. This is my wife, Kim, and this is my daughter, Bo. Bo's almost three, and she means everything to me. Like a lot of kids her age, she has limitless energy, curiosity, and love, especially for animals. I've always loved animals, too. This is me at 13 with my best friend, Pal. I remember reading back then about a fast food chain that was suing people for criticizing the conditions on the farms where they bought their meat. I remember wondering, why are they so afraid of people finding out the truth? Flash forward a few years, I come across this video taken undercover at a factory farm by a group called Mercy for Animals. I had never seen footage like that before. I didn't want to believe that things were really that bad. So I thought about it for a while and decided something. I'd become an undercover investigator myself. I'd get jobs at farms and wear a hidden camera to work each day to record what was going on around me. Above all, I was curious. I wanted to see if things on these farms were really as bad as they look in all those online videos. What I saw changed my life. And I know it's hard to watch, but I want you to please stick with me here so you can see what I saw and so you can know what everyone should know. One of the first jobs I had was at a pig farm. Pigs are some of the most intelligent animals on earth, even smarter than dogs and cats. Like dogs, they have dreams when they sleep at night. They understand their names and will come running when you call. They love a good belly rub, and once you're their friend, they'll remember you for years. But what I and my fellow investigators found when we went to work at dozens of pig farms was heartbreaking. Here's where most piglets are born, in filthy concrete pens inside giant, dark warehouses. This was Nicole. Sick and injured piglets like Nicole are left to suffer and slowly die. They get no veterinary attention. No one cares. No one tries to help them. When Nicole died, she was thrown away like garbage. Piglets who don't grow fast enough are killed by being slammed head first into the ground or by being gassed to death. The rest have their tails chopped off and their testicles cut out without any pain relief, all in front of the piglet's mothers who struggle helplessly to stop it. Nicole's mom, like most other pigs, spent nearly her entire life locked in a metal cage so small she could literally not turn around. It sounds like a form of medieval torture, and factory farmers do it to millions of innocent pigs each year. Pigs often go insane, banging their heads against the bars or lying motionless on the ground. At just six months old, pigs are transported, stunned with electrical tongs, hung upside down, and have their throats slit. We investigated farm after farm all over the country. It didn't matter. All of these practices came standard. After working there, I knew that I would never eat pigs again, or any other animal. I understood now why millions of people have stopped eating meat. I understand why the amount of meat we eat is going down year after year. Because what's going on on these farms, it can't continue. You want a better world for your kid. You want the world to be nice and beautiful. And it isn't always that way. But each of us has the choice to say, I am not going to be a part of that cruelty. I am not going to pay for it. If we don't pay for it, farmers won't breed those animals. So all that cruelty I just showed you, that goes away. Maybe not for all animals, but at least for some of them. And not just pigs. Chickens are surprisingly smart, and their personalities vary just like cats and dogs. Scientists have found that they think about the future and pass knowledge down to their chicks. Plus, let's be honest, they're also super cute. But what I and my fellow investigators saw when we went to work in major hatcheries, egg farms, and poultry farms is almost beyond belief. This is a typical egg industry hatchery, and these are workers separating the boy chicks from the girls. And this is Ryan. Because boys like Ryan will never lay eggs, he was of no use to the egg industry. So Ryan was dropped, alive and fully conscious, into a giant grinding machine at just a few days old. This, this was like seeing something straight out of a horror film, only it was real. 
and it was going on every single day. This is standard practice in the egg industry. Our camera's roll as we watched female chicks get their beaks sliced off. My job was to help pack hens into the filthy wire cages where they would spend the rest of their lives. Every day I walked the aisles, pulling out the bodies of hundreds of dead birds. Those that survived often had their skin rubbed raw by the cage bars, or their feet angled by the wire floors. Chickens and turkeys raised for me don't have it so good either. Most have been genetically manipulated to grow so fat, so fast, that they suffer heart attacks and crippling pain at just a few weeks old. Sick or injured hens get no attention. No one cares. No one helps. Many die slowly and painfully. We watch them too be tossed away like garbage. At the slaughterhouse, birds have their throats slit. Many are scalded alive in tanks of searing hot water. 